Salam and peace guys Thank you for joining me on this YouTube channel And the first episode of my documentary series called Live to Fight or Fight to Live So in this episode We'll be focusing on more about how MMA or wrestling Or these sort of very intense high competition sort of grappling situations boxing mma and wrestling sort of things how that benefits you how did they shape you that's the underlying theme of this episode so without further ado we're gonna get straight into it we're gonna begin with a guy from america who traveled to a gym in manchester called the wrestling academy and there's a group of them who traveled i knew beforehand a day beforehand that these people are coming and one of them was called ben bariso he's from roger williams university i managed to interview him and he had some very good opinions uh from his perspective about why he has an interest in wrestling so i mean like in life whether you have a job whether you're going to school you're always gonna have free time on the side and the decisions you make in your free time will either make you a better person or worse of a person so those choices you make you can either you're better, you better yourself, like I did. I chose a sport that makes me work hard. You have to work hard every day to get better. You can't just step into the room and expect to get better. You got to be there full effort. So choosing a sport like this for me was my choice in my free time. And that kind of just guided my life and made me a better overall human being because it started bleeding into my academics and my school life, that hard work ethic. And it made me overall a better person. Growing up, I was in a lot of trouble. Now I'm in less trouble. So I think one thing that's important as well is when you do a physical sport, a combat sport, you become secure in yourself as a man. You don't need to prove anything. People or young men who don't do combat sports, they have a need to prove something, they have aggression. That was, you know, me and my friends and my brother growing up, everyone has those problems growing up. When you've got a sport like wrestling, you, you're secure in yourself, you don't need to prove anything to anyone. Um, that's one of the benefits of it. The guy who we saw afterwards, called Isa, he also made a very good point about when you get into wrestling or some sort of uh, combat sport, it ma it makes you secure in yourself. You get rid of insecurities, you get rid of uh, your ego, and you stop trying to prove a point to yourself. Your you change your mindset into thinking that you want to improve for yourself, and that's it really, basically. So these guys put it quite well. Yeah, because obviously, like me being in my late 20s now, like everyone's got their own goals. Like some people's aims is to fight, some people's aims is to keep fit. I had a few fights in boxing when I was younger, but for me now, it's just like to know how to defend myself, be part of a community and keep fit. And obviously speaking with Jaden and, and like his mentoring and stuff is like, it's helped me a lot because being in, in your late 20s, like you want to still have certain goals going into your 30s and things like that. So my goals is to basically Keep, keep fit and be healthy and obviously keep sharp and MMA is the best way to do that. Why is that important? Um, just like, just, it's better, so, so what I've learned is like, it's better to like be able to defend yourself but not have to use it. But if you're ever in that scenario, you'd want to be able to defend yourself and MMA's helped. And obviously like the last few weeks I've been coming here, like I've even said to Jay that, that yeah, like I've, I've learned so much in terms of like the wrestling and stuff and being able to take someone down. Yeah, I totally agree, totally agree. When I was teaching and uh, the students who I had between the age of, I don't know, 11 till 16, something like that, the advice that I would give to them, right? Learn everything, do everything. Find out what you're good at, find out what your passions are, find out what your weaknesses are, your strengths are, and then you'll be able to understand because the more you test yourself, the, the more you understand about yourself. So the more you know about yourself, the more secure you'll feel, the more the more confident you'll feel, right? The less you try things, you're always gonna feel that uh, eerie by yourself, that, that you're always gonna be scared and not sure of yourself. So the more you try things, the more you fail at things, the more you win at things, the more you success at things, the more you know about yourself, you know what I mean? And once you know any tweaking your sort of skills, learning more skills and keep it under your belt, understand it at least to a level and then you can move on. So at least like, you won't get conned or, or intimidated by people who could be or maybe stronger, better, intelligent, smarter, whatever it is. Learn as much as you can, basically. Now for the man called Jay Irving. He's got his own gym called uh, called Alden Fight Academy. 
amazing amazing guy a lot of experience a lot of experience is he's been into wrestling he's he's in he's an MMA uh, uh, fighter as well i think he's re- i think he's recently retired and now coaching a lot of people uh, so he has a lot of great things to say so let's see what he says uh, yeah so naturally it, it changes you in, inside and outside of the gym because it it instills discipline straight off the rip like to be a good martial artist or sportsman you need to be disciplined regardless yeah it kills your ego almost instantly because i'm not training with guys that i can smush the daily like i'm searching for guys that will smush me or i won't grow yeah and you will take that outside like naturally before i started mixed martial arts if somebody walked in a little bit heavy i'd probably try and match their energy because i was a lot younger then as well but i'd probably try and match it because that's what we do as young men like especially in this environment do you know what i mean everybody's out here trying to be an alpha male like naturally when you walk in the gym we all know who the alpha males are we're all alpha males in a sense but i mean like who the real alpha male is and i'm comfy with that if i walk in and somebody's a lot better than me i want first round with that guy do you know what i mean or at least what around what i want so i want some knowledge off him do you know what i mean and the only way i'm going to get that is to spar him or move around with him whatever we're doing on the day and if i had an ego i probably become very disheartened once I got punched up if you're looking into improving yourself right there's no point looking at people who are lower skilled than you right or less smarter than you if you want to improve yourself then always trying to challenge yourself the best way to do that is to challenge the guys who are better than you or, or either stay around them learn from them you try to spar with them be around them the next person that I got a for you is called Adam Hayes. He's a coach. He's got some really really interesting things to say. That that grit and determination that you that you get at wrestling if you if you, let, if you stick with it long enough, you're going to learn that you improve. You might not improve in one day, you might not improve in one week, you might not improve in one year, but you will all, all of a sudden you will notice a, a big so it's that sticking with something, you know, determination and also um if you get to that level where you're winning medals where you're winning stuff in the competitions that goals are achievable you know it depends on you what you put in is what you get out and i think you you will learn those things you'll also learn to handle someone else you know so so don't you you learn i mean in a basic level the exercises that we do with kids flexibility you know there's a sort of fundamental basis of gymnastics almost uh rolling all those things I think that in later life even if you stop wrestling if you if you ride on your bike you fall off you you're going to know how to fall because you because you training this all the time at the gym um with strengthening the neck the necks you know if you fall and you got strong muscles if you got strong joints you're less likely to injure yourself so so those are benefits that are just they they come without noticing and the other things yeah you know you get you get out what you put in so you, the, there's lots of life skills that you learn lots and lots and lots so that was Adam Hayes he's been uh coaching uh, young individuals of all shapes and sizes uh in the wrestling academy and what he says is actually absolutely right absolutely right the more you put into it the more you get out of it right and also one thing that I want to point out is that uh learning a combat sport either wrestling or MMA it will give you the confidence to be able to be able to know that you can handle yourself if a situation arises where there's three or four people in front of you you to feel confident in yourself and not feel intimidated that is how actually have to battle as anybody knows who's who's been in fights right on the streets right who's been in fights not showing an ounce of fear right that is it that that's it you actually won the battle and no matter if it's five in front of you no matter if it's 20 in front of you if you show that you're not uh, scared and you're not backing down that's it they're going to think whoa hold on hold on a minute there's about there's about 10 of us here or one of you in front of me why is why is this guy not scared they're going to think okay he knows some he knows some and i got to be careful with him that's why it shows so this is the first episode of live to fight or fight to live episode and I've, i hope you found this uh, beneficial and valuable everyone struggles everybody struggles and i believe learning a very physical sport can help you overcome a lot of those barriers that you may mentally be going through so yeah thank you for watching if you liked it press a like button um, subscribe if you want you know it helps me out so yeah go for it 
And I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.